Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and I want to show you a solution to your fan issues. If you're a boondocker, dry camper, or if you need a fan in your garage or wherever, this is actually this is a this fan is waterproof. It's called a Smart Tail S M A R T E L E, and it is battery operated, or you can operate it off 110. It has a little lithium ion battery back here that I'll show you, and you'll see that uh, it's got shows all the levels uh, the first blue light is 10 percent and then it goes on down you see that and right now i have it on very low and you can you can hardly hear it okay is it putting out any wind sure it is feels good but you can turn it up and you'll be able to see that's almost all the way the sound level is virtually it's very quiet, all right? I don't know what decibel level that is, but it's very quiet. And right now, let's see what it's drawing here. Uh, right now it shows, I've got it hooked up to the Blue Eddy uh, power source, and it shows that the Blue Eddy is putting out nine watts, or eight or nine watts to power it at that level, okay? That's virtually nothing, okay? So I'll we'll turn it back down. And uh, just leave it on low while I tell you about this thing and see where we are now. When you change it, it takes a while for the Blue Eddy to uh, pick it up. But we'll do that. So what I have here is what I would call a total solution to having a fan when you're out camping or boondocking or in an area where there's no power. Because you got 500 watts uh, of usage right here to power this. And then the battery, this, you can run this thing on the battery with the fan, the lithium battery that comes with a fan. You can run it for, I'm going to unplug it from the Blue Eddy now. Get it unplugged here. Okay, so now it's just running on the battery, uh, the fan battery, all right? Put that over there. And you can also, that's, that you can, that's the charger right here. And uh, so you can charge it on a 110 outlet. Of course, if you have a Blue Eddy like I do, that's an EB55. And uh, it's a 500 watts, and this is the charger for it. So a total fan solution for people that boondock. And believe me, uh, I, I may be doing a little boondocking this year. Uh, I've got a Class C motorhome that has a 4,000 watt generator. But uh, just to see how this all works, this is a 200 watt solar panel, a Blue Eddy 200 watt solar panel that hooks up to the Blue Eddy and charges it. And again, it's 500 watts. Let me get the specs here for you. I've got the EB55, and it shows that that is 537 watt hours. And uh, so you could power, the, the battery on the fan itself will power that on low for 30 hours. As you go up the scale, it reduces it. And if you put it on max, turn it all the way to max, it'll power it for four hours. Some people have complained or I saw some comments that said that theirs only lasted seven hours overnight or whatever. Well, that's probably because you had it on a higher setting. But on, on the low setting, uh, I've let it run overnight for 12 hours, and it only used 50%. So it seemed to be pretty accurate to me. But uh, the, uh, the fan is good. It's quiet. And then the great thing about this whole setup here uh, for me is, number one, the Blue Eddy power source is excellent okay because you've got all kind of ways to use the power from this battery okay you can use uh you've got usb ports to charge your phone you got four 110 outlets you got a 12 volt outlet here you got some uh, 12 volt outlets there and then this is input this is for your solar right there and uh, you can also uh use this a uh, charger to charge this device but the uh, solar to, t to charge this with solar will probably take about, oh, at least four or five hours. Uh, at, it depends on, on how many amps the, uh, the panels are putting out, but that's a 200-watt panel. I would expect, if in, in, in good sunlight like there is today, that that would put out at least eight to ten amps. So that would charge that battery in about two and a half to three hours right here. And then that, if you, if you use, if this battery 
uh, needed charging, uh, it would take the Blue Eddy battery about an hour and a half to charge this. Can you charge the fan directly from or run the fan directly from the solar? I haven't tried that, but I'm sure there's a way you could hook it up. I just don't, not, don't plan on doing it. But here's some specs I'll give you. This is on the uh, on the fan itself. I'll put these up here where you can see them. Maybe you can stop the video and, and see that right there. But it shows power 43 watts max, and that's all the way across. Noise level 45 decibels, and then it shows the IP rating, IP24, uh, USB output, blah, 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 blah. And so there's that. I have the 16 inch actually right here. So let's see if there's any difference. I don't think there's any difference. But yeah, it shows that the working time at minimum speed is 30 hours and working time at max speed is three hours. And, uh, but I can assure you that if you, it, it, on the lowest level uh, for the fan speed, let's see if I've got it there now. All right, I'll put it all the way down. Yeah, at, at, at almost the lowest level, that's about as low as, it, that's as low as it'll go. Okay, and it's still uh, putting out quite a bit of air. That would be enough to keep you comfortable in a bedroom area or a tent right there. And that'll run for, that'll run all night. Okay, and then if you have a Blue Eddy uh, charging, uh, uh, charging deal, the EB55 or whatever you get, they make several different models. Then, then you can charge this, charge the fan battery from this battery, okay? And then as this gets low, if you're using other devices, because you can run several items, you can run up to, let's see if it says it here. You can run up to, yeah, the peak power is 200 watts on the Blue Eddy. I'll let you see this. Is, this is all Blue Eddy stuff here. So you'll be able to see what all that's about. But yeah, so, but, but 200 watts, remember this thing just has 500, hold on, let me get over here. It has 530 watt hours available right here. This is the Blue Eddy. So with these three items, you have solved uh, your power issues for boondocking, basically. It depends on what all you're going to do, but for your minimum requirements, let's say a fan, Charging your phone, charging your laptop and stuff. You got it. You got it whipped right here with these three items. Yeah, that 200 watt panel right there. That's a. It folds up. It's a. And it's really good quality stuff, man. I mean, it's it's not. Uh, it's not flimsy. You know what I mean? This this is sturdy stuff. So you can. Uh, it's not like some of that Chinese stuff. I mean, I don't know where this came from. But no, it's it's a very sturdy package. Got a good handle here. Folds up neat. Uh, yeah, and it's got the plug. For plugging it into the Blue Eddy to charge it, and that's all I need, man. I mean, once this thing's charged here, I can run. You can run a lot of stuff for a long time. The Blue Eddy EB55 plus the Smart Tail fan S M A R T E L E, and then the 200 uh, watt solar panel. You're good to go, guys. Yeah, you can power everything, man. So for Boondockers, uh, there's that's a pretty good solution. Those three items right there. Uh, yeah, so anyway, guys, just a quickie. Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want anytime. If you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos and uh, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, and keep your health. I'll leave a link to the Smart Tail and the Blue Eddy in the description of this video. But again, thanks, guys. And yeah, if you're a boondocker, BLM type Bureau of Land Management camper or whatever, or if, you got, you know, if you're a tent camper, this would work great, man, uh, because this little battery lasts a long time, man. Let me show you this again. Yeah, yeah, let me see back here. Yeah, see, this is it, what I love about it is those little lights. You, you got, you know, you, you got, uh, it shows 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. You know what I mean? And uh, it, it's, it'll be on full for a long time. And this is the, like a rheostat for turning the fan up or down. It doesn't have like one, two, three, four. It just, you just turn it and it goes up, the speed goes up or down. But th this is where I was keeping it right in here because it puts out a lot of. A lot of speed, but you can't even hear it. Here, I'm gonna put the phone right in front of it. Here, I'll put it right here. I got the phone right behind it. You can't even hear it. I'm telling you, man, it's amazing. But anyway, guys, from Fort Clark Springs, Texas, on a beautiful day. This is my rig right here. That's a Class C motorhome. Yeah, and I'm gonna be leaving out of here probably, I don't know, May or so, whenever it starts to get warm here in Texas. But anyway, keep your health, guys.
Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.